audacious thing to be eating a, a baked good on a podcast. It is, but it's a breakfast special. <laughs> the breakfast, yeah, okay. Welcome to... I should have brought something. should have brought something. I don't Sorry, eat breakfast. I should have told you. Yeah, yeah, I don't eat breakfast, though. Mm. I'm just holding on for my 12.30pm curry. So I was just finishing a, a baked good. An unbelievable cinnamon swirl danish from Ottolenghi. Unreal. The guy, the guy knows what he's doing, all right? I, know he, I bet he knows what he's doing in the bedroom as well. You know Yotam on Tulangi. Do you reckon he uses the cinnamon swirl as a cunnilingus move? I'm sure that's what he calls it. Yeah. Just dabs his tongue in some cinnamon and then swirls it about. Yeah, it's actually kind of painful and very kind of irritant. To yeah. Well, it's, yeah, well it's, it makes it very dry. Yes. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. <laughs> um, how are you, Andrew? Are you doing good? I'm doing good. I've yeah. got a week off. Brilliant. How um, are you enjoying your week off? Uh, it's been a slow start. Yeah. Because um, I've, well, I've tried to set aside Monday and Tuesday to do absolutely nothing yeah. for a couple of days. Just I haven't done absolutely nothing for ages. Yeah. Um, which has meant that I've played. Were you alone in the house? Yes, there I was. And it couldn't have been better. The, I think every now and again, you need nothing and be alone in the place. And absolutely. That have you seen that meme? That's of- why I kind of wanted to stay here during Christmas. Yeah. Because I actually did enjoy that period. Yeah. Also, you came into the house at one point and I was quite embarrassed by the sounds I was making on the game because it was just like gunshots. Was that what you were doing? Yeah, I paused it. In my head, I thought you were working. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was just... Yeah. Exactly. So was why I paused it. Instead of shooting up different <laughs> members of a Colombian drug cartel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because have you seen that meme of um, Paolo Escobar at different parts around the house looking sad mm, mm, mm. to try it. That's how, yeah. that's, that, that, I feel that a lot is how I feel yeah. whenever I get that day alone and then I, I do all the things I want and then I have this kind of like quite nice melancholy of just like, yeah. and then if you get a bit pissed as well, it hits different. Do you mean drunk or? Yeah. Yeah, I had a couple of whiskeys. And it's just like, that's when, that's when it really. Well, usually that melancholy for me is um, panicking anxiety because sure. I can't be bored and I'm terrified of boredom. Yeah. So I hastily downloaded, re-downloaded a game I played <laughs> what were you, about a were year you, and a half were ago. Were you staring at the download bar yeah, going, yeah. quick, well, it was, <laughs> quick. <laughs> well, it was it was a three-hour download, so I had a nap. Yeah, because you had to. And it some... worked. I literally worked work from the nap and downloaded. It's good you got a nap now as like a, a parachute if life gets too boring. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I, and it's, as I said, I want to get back into a game. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is when I get into something, I, I get obsessed and throw yeah. myself too far into it. So I think I played a good, Probably twelve hours of it in the last two days. Was it good? Oh, it was fucking great. Yeah, I got Did you bored get of any it. Of the ch- childhood nostalgia. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Where, where I was just like looking forward to, like playing it after dinner. Yeah. That's that's when you know you're you're really into something. Yeah, when you're looking forward to it after dinner for sure. Yeah, um, but no, stayed up, had a couple of whiskeys, shot some shot some bad guys, ordered my squad around. Is this um the sniper game? No, it's, it's, it's going the one where you Columbia. control. Yeah, going around Colombia. Or Bolivia, actually, and um, you. You got you American. I've got yeah, I'm you American. Sealed. Uh, but my seal boys, yeah. yeah. But there's four of you. Yeah. I mean, it's obscene. Like <laughs> the amount of the amount of people I've killed in Bolivia, just the four of us, is astonishing. Really? You think I? Because <laughs> there are times. Ton- what I want about it be, I want it to be like a bit realistic, and that's yeah. part of the game because it's all about stealth, which is I find more fun than just as I think I've said before, than just like yeah, sneaking a, about. where you just like fucking doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like I'd be dead. Yeah. I would definitely be dead. You Whereas, want you want something that makes you feel like you've actually. I like. I could system. feasibly yeah. have done this. Not you've been hit three by three bullets, so you wait five seconds. And, and like, all oh. that. <laughs> 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 But no, this one. I love it. Really realistic. So like, you can even stub your toe, and you're like yeah. properly. You're never. You never properly walk for the next six Jesus. hours. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It would be a nightmare. Um, but no, this one's more about ta- it's like tactics, and you control three other guys, and you can like when you're trying to like I don't know if you need to go kidnap someone, there'll be loads of people guarding it, and then you can you go up in your little drone, and then it's like you select three people and you can play and as then them. I, and then when you shoot they all do it together so it's like a real stealth thing oh that's wait, do you have a, can you get everyone lined up and then bang yeah you, you say you shoot that guy you shoot that guy you shoot that guy and then I shoot another one and then yeah. it's all exactly the same time it- and it really makes you feel like you're part of an elite fight <laughs> 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 and you're the commander so you're the big dog Does, do you think it's hard going to be coming back to like Normal life, yes. Oh. This, is, <laughs> yeah. this is the first social situation. This is the first. You're the first. You, this is the first time I've spoken to someone in the last day. That's <laughs> weird. Do think, actually, do you think when when all the housemates were all back and life's back at normal, do you think it's going to be a bit of an underwhelming that our four man house? 
aren't an elite fighting unit. <laughs> I mean, we could go out. We could definitely go out and give it a try. <laughs> I've learned a lot of skills in the last twenty four hours, so maybe we could go, go, to, go to Ukraine or yeah. go to Bolivia. Okay, Ukraine. Yeah, we could uh, go to Bolivia and just shoot innocent people. Yeah, we could just yeah. Well, we could sniff out the, the drug presence in Bolivia. It was um, my birthday yesterday, and so we 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 just fannied around. Um, but uh, one of the things. So you weren't part of an elite fight. I wasn't part That's of an elite fight. Unit. Um, but one of the things we did yesterday was going to a VR experience thing. Yeah. Which BB Burks and yeah, I was. It's, it was great. It's in Haggerston. It's underneath like a a railway arch. Oh, that's uh, where I drum. Yeah, it's in, in the, probably in that area. Is it like a red door? Mm. Is it like one of those where there's loads of different? I doubt it. Is yes. It? Well, it's one. Of, um, it was in one of those things. I don't think it had a red door. But um, that's weird. That's right next to it's, it's like uh, it, it. They've done it really well, so it's all completely white, and there's these giant VR yeah. pods. It costs fifteen pounds for an hour. Not know, bad at all. Not bad at all. That's like that's decent. Yeah. And then the the drinks the drinks were like normal price. Um, and well, you can get some bevies going. Yeah, in there. a really good bar as well. Like a nice. Is this a VR, VR bar. bar? No, it was a, <laughs> no. five pound for a fake drink. Um, it was a really nice bar, and uh, then you go in, and you it is fucking insane. So I'm, what? I'm fully sold on it. So what did you do in the VR world? Well, so they've set it up like because it's go, not being go, part of an elite fighting unit. Well, no, I kind of was. I kind of was part of an elite fighting unit, and yeah. it, there was games <laughs> that were. So you can choose your game you are on an island right like a vr designed island yeah. and like the thing is is like there's still a lot that they're working out and it's clearly quite early in the thing but already what they've achieved shows what is possible is terrifying and thrilling as i said inspiring i mean yeah because you had that annoying um lack of uh, open-mindedness when you like you couldn't even imagine what vr could be used for apart from do you remember this? Yeah, loosely. Yeah. It was when it was talking about like it's the, the same with you and jetpacks. You just couldn't understand. We all know I'm right about jetpacks. <laughs> no, you're not. You said we are I'm right about jetpacks. Jetpacks. The only, the only we thing... went through jetpacks and you agreed. With no, me. I didn't. Agree you with agree with me on. Jetpacks. I just think you the jet, the view you have on jetpacks. Entertainment. And... Full stop. Jet, jetpacks and VR. No, jetpacks. Said... Entertainment. That's you it. said when I showed you the video of someone launching from a a smaller boat to a big boat you're like What's oh, the point? that's the, you said that's the only thing <laughs> that's the <laughs> only possible to go to and it's the same big. approach you had to VR because you didn't buy it you didn't think people were going to spend time in the metaverse which I think is just the, so it's not it's no gonna, no it wasn't about the people weren't going to spend gonna time it's going to be like it's when you said terrifying. Tom Cleverley was going to be the best England player it's gonna, you're going to look back on it with immense shame I didn't say that people won't use VR I yeah. said it's like this capacity is terrifying in like the me- mm. the metaverse terrifies no, me. No, you're you're trying to make it sound oh, a lot more. I you're didn't trying to make say it sound a lot more profound. Use it. You're the, like, the what are they going to use it for? It was profound. The jetpacks wasn't profound. <laughs> <laughs> the jetpacks was a practical reality. <laughs> it is purely to be used for but, entertainment. Um, so they have this this like island which is you know quite digitally gamey looking, and you start in a mountain. And there's four different seasons on the island, and each season is a harder part of the game. So, right. So you go down to summer, and there's four different games. How do you move? You don't walk, do you? You do walk. You hold the triggers, and you go like this. But you and don't then, move your legs. No, no, you don't move because you're standing. You can go faster. You can go faster. And then you t- do turn. Do your arms not get you, tired? You, you you turn your head. No, yeah. they didn't. Uh, you turn your head, and that's how you turn. So it's really easy just to move because you're just going like this. Yeah. Okay. Looking through. Yeah. Um, and then you can like see your hands and you can press these things and grab Unreal. Yeah, okay. Um, grab. Yeah, you can grab shit. And so or there's like 20 different games and they're all pods yeah. on the island. V- like versions of the pod you're already yeah, yeah. in. So you're on this island. Oh, you go so into that like pod. You're going into another reality. You're going into it. Yeah, which is fucking yeah. in- intense. Um, one of them. Did you freak out? One of the, I was, I was ter- terrified the whole just time. Just screaming the, in the whole pod. time. But ah! it was weird when you went in that there was all these pods and the, you just heard all these screams coming from these. It was like a black. Yeah, I episode. saw that on your. Yeah, Instagram it was just because everyone's playing different games. You could just, and also realizing that because I was speaking to Bevy and she was in different pods and we yeah. were like mic'd up and I realized oh shit, everyone can kind of hear what. Were you doing sex talk? We were doing sex talk. Were you VR sex? We were VR sex. Did you feasibly? Yeah, definitely. Not with the, they weren't they weren't attractive avatars they were like blockheads so well, wouldn't, you wouldn't love your girlfriend if she was a blockhead <laughs> I wouldn't no so it wasn't it was it definitely wasn't sexy um, but could you feasibly or, um, no 
Did, I'm no. sure they didn't animate penises. And, no, 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 no. There was not. There, was, there wasn't even really legs. Can take your trousers off. No, because I'm saying no. Oh, there weren't even legs. Yeah, okay, yeah. I did. A, I did a bit of this where I mimed fucking. Yeah. Like a tree. I mean, the joke potentially. I, 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 I was wanking off a couple of times, no, but yeah. that was more comedic than sexual. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, but so like the first game because you're only in there for like. 50 minutes so you don't actually get to see much because it goes so quickly yeah. but there was one which was good I'm obsessed with Google Earth anyway Yeah. Um, and you can go on VR Google Earth where you're just flying around the earth and it's just animated because it uses Google Earth as in the actual proper animation yeah of it, or, like... or, yeah, and because it's so accurate yeah, you can, yeah. I'm literally just flying through the streets of fucking Tokyo London going yeah, to the Sahara is... just like <laughs> that is pretty sick um, and then there was a zombie game yeah, which was terrifying and brilliant where people were coming through and it, it, that was just that change where you can aim so you have two guns yeah and you can aim and shoot and it just completely just yeah, completely yeah. changes that's when it's like at its best because it's like yeah, that yeah. just adds a level yeah you know that, oh completely the fact that you can literally just aim and shoot just completely yeah, yeah. took it up compl- uh, another notch um, yeah and then we had like a arcade battle game and then we did a Fruit Ninja one and then it was time to go. But <laughs> it was time to go home. <laughs> it was time to go home. But yeah, I I, I would, it, it's like, yeah, sort of the, yeah. it's like the cost of bowling and you've got yeah. drinks there. It's the same sort of activity time-wise. Yeah. I'm not going to say I came up with VR. <laughs> okay, then don't. Uh, but I, I shan't during the <laughs> sentence. But I remember when I was young, like getting obsessive into games, yeah. just thinking how terrifying and amazing would be if you could just actually be like in the game like just in being a player in football as always used to thought with like fifa yeah just like playing with cristiano ronaldo or something that was what you said you said that was the only thing vr could be used yeah for. gaming yeah gaming i said gaming absolutely but yeah. not socializing the metaverse is terrifying however the video of your dad so- yeah. and his two colleagues <laughs> What look showing that each other around a virtual conference room might be the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, my my dad's um, you you need to put like that out there. Yeah, somewhere. I need to try and find a way. It is fucking hilarious. My dad's um over the last six months has gone crazy and started like a a metaverse meetings company, yeah. which is like using the metaverse and VR, but for like uh just business conferences so why so it's the opposite of gaming i know you're not your dad sure but then why what's wrong with video calls what's wrong with video conferences? because his whole old business before covid stuff was get yeah. everyone into a hotel and make them have a good time so they can all and meet, i guess get buyers and suppliers individual if it's a, zo- if it's a zoom call group. it doesn't have a you good can, vibe only to one it. person can talk but on the metaverse, you can have loads of people having... And you can have fun. So is it like volume controlled? If you're closer to one person, it's, you know, you can hear that. But if you're further away, I don't you can't know, hear actually. the other stuff. I really don't know. Yeah, you're not. But I've seen the you video... You haven't got Peter Gould's mind. I don't have Peter Gould's mind. But seeing the video actually. of my dad running around a, a Marriott, you... like a boring looking conference room in the in virtual reality was my Because they just look, they're, kind, they're literally running while it's just kind of... it's The possibilities are endless. And I think it, yeah, it's yeah. coming and it's going to come hard. So I think get on board. Or get I am out. on board with yeah. the gaming side. I am not on board with the socialising You don't want to hang out with the fucking... I don't want to hang out with... I don't want to hang out with the boys in a, on a volcano. I, I know what your next think, question is going to be. I just don't I will you... as like a fun little... I'd like to... If you, you go somewhere... You know how hilarious it will be. Of course it how, will. Like there's, there's few things that are funnier than playing online games with your friend and then seeing their avatar do something if yeah, you're I running know, somewhere and that avatar falls but a game over, a game yes a game the most i've ever laughed a game genuinely the most i've ever laughed i very nearly shat myself because i laughed so hard was when i was playing nintendo wii and you know in that make your own me yeah the, yeah. the, the avatar thing when everyone's avatars was running i was playing with four other three other friends one of my friends for avatar fell over it's as simple as that which yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. had been animated into the game. I yeah. could not. <laughs> it's the funny. No, I know. And it's so simple because it's not that funny. I know. But the fact that everyone's things were running into this center and his one fell over. And that, how is that the funniest thing? I've, that I'm, I'm, on the know I'm into it. I'm absolutely into it. But for gaming. For gaming. Online <laughs> gaming, I see the idea. I, I love it. I think that's a great yeah. application. The metaverse terrifies me. Yeah, it's terrifying. That, but, but I just but think I'm never going to use the metaverse or like catch up with people yes you will i will not yes you will i will not You're use so, the metaverse it's so close you don't understand. yeah but why why would as in like people that the, not only for people anymore, that are Drew. Well, that's the problem <laughs> they're not coming out I anymore want them to come out <laughs> fucking meet me in the fucking i know you're gonna be upstairs and i'm gonna <laughs> be like can we go we're gonna do metaverse podcasts and can we please just do it well, here yeah 
Yeah, there's going to be Metaverse podcast, and I'm I'm fully here for it. Yeah, I'm going to imagine this. Imagine this. I'm right really going to have to be a reluctant avatar. Yeah, yeah. but imagine <laughs> we're I'm on two point. avatars here. We're just sitting along talking. It's all recorded with the, the high quality. It's time. almost like real life, <laughs> but it's isn't funnier. it? No, um, it is. It is funnier. And I've, I, I think just doing it, I could see now that the possibilities. Like, my dad was suggesting. I do want to go and try this place. Actually. He was suggesting uh, live stand-up gigs. And yeah. before I was like, I don't think it's going to work. But now I can see a world where my idea of, I mean, my dream scenario is that we're all falling off a skyscraper. Yeah, and so yeah. the person's at the front, like uh, trying to do a set and everyone's falling at the same ish level. So yeah, yeah. all the audience like, <laughs> and then you're making observations as you're falling off this endless skyscraper. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do loads. You could do. Are you acting, are you doing the set like you're falling off it as well? As in, in your <laughs> no, voice? No, no. No, I think that would add to it. No, I, I'm doing I'm doing normal observational <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. But you've got but what was mad as well in this <laughs> VR thing. So this is still must be really early days. So whatever's good now, it's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. When you walked out of like the cave, you felt there was a heater turned on because the sun was going. No, the what? cave. Yeah, yeah. It was there. Yeah. But it was, you didn't, didn't even tell it. No, I couldn't even because I. It was you more walk for out you. And you look up, you see the sun, and then you feel like a warm. Does it have yeah, yeah. temperature? And, yeah, yeah. And then you have like a cold breeze Jesus. come through. It was insane. Really? Yeah, I'm I... Like whatever's good there is going to be so much better in 10 years. I do want to say that. And I, I think that was actually the maddest thing is coming out and having the very similar feeling of walking out into the sun and feeling that heat on your arms. It was absolutely insane. Do you think there's any potential to have a massive freak out when you get out? Because you're not even sure if this is the real reality. 100%. Where does it start? Oh, it's going to yeah. be... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. be... Yeah, it's terrible. Disassociation. Gonna, oh, it's going to be really bad for people's synapses. It's going to like... Yeah, yeah. In the way that like going on TikTok, I think it's starting to fuck up well, people. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah. yeah, if you're on VR, like just yeah. basic brain chemistry is going to... Well, I think fucked. even after playing... My elite fighting score for 12 hours. My synapses are fucked up. <laughs> I'm always spotting cover points and <laughs> high ground. And you got to syndrome. I have got avatar syndrome. Yeah, no, it's... I, but, you know, mm. the, the whole vibe of the podcast, what these sunglasses represent, is the world is hurtling towards... Changes every time when we say what... Well, it's, it's obviously, <laughs> nominally, it's a men's mental and physical health podcast. Yeah. But the deeper subtext is that... As a society, we are hurtling towards the end. Yeah, yeah. And these sunglasses are us holding on Protecting to our eyes. As we ride along as with we, it. We're we not pushing against it, yeah. the change. We're, that's why Boys Gone Wild yeah, is yeah. primed for the metaverse, because we all know it's going to ruin society, but we're doing nothing about it, and we're just <laughs> ride, we're riding yeah. along it. Yeah, and I guess <laughs> the least you can do is like speak very vaguely about how you don't really trust it, but then just be like, yeah, yeah, sure, just I'll do it. ride along with it, just get, yeah, get yeah. a seat, see how far the rabbit hole. Get that goes. artificial wind in your hair. Yeah, but it's like all those things. People who are like, I remember people who hated Twitter, you know, Twitter, years, yeah, yeah, when it came out and stuff like that, and then they've all had to join Twitter. And subsequent social Well, there's medias. obviously... And, but and they've just people, fallen behind and they've eventually all given in. But then in. there is just a... Yeah, there's there's a general global acceptance that, yeah, it is. there's some terrible things that happen with all these things, but it's fine. We'll get on with it. We'll get Which on isn't it. really the reason to do it, but hey. Um, but yeah, I, th I think... Uh, what, what, can you think of any other like stand-up gig s s things that would be quite funny? I think maybe being in like a... Underwater scuba diving. Scuba diving is pretty good. Hear everyone swimming around. You're looking at different fish. Fish. Wow. And, then, well, and you can hear it in like the radio. And yeah. everyone's radio is turned on so you can still get heckled. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. What about being in like a, a giant spider's layer and you're all stuck to the ceiling? You know, yeah, like, like, like in, a, in a web. Like a, yeah, yeah, all in a web. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuck and on a web and there's... Yeah, and you can't You can move. hear like... The spider... <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. It's fucking terrifying. God, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to that. <laughs> 100% I wouldn't go to that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fuck that. Um, yeah, that's good. Um, Can we be bouncing on clouds? Bouncing on balls. Bouncing on balls. Bouncing on a bouncy castle. Yeah, it starts to take away from the actual comedy and it begs the question why you're, yeah. you're not just doing that. As it's it sounds a bit gimmicky, yeah, maybe. It, does, yeah, it might be, I mean, it's really gonna, it, it's a great gig to do because you really don't need good material because mm. it's hilarious because you're just falling off a skyscraper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's already funny, yeah. Yeah. Because well, yesterday was kind of, we were just doing stuff around and we went to the British Museum, um, which for all its um, questionable ethics is, you know, because of its questionable ethics is yeah, yeah. head and shoulders the best museum in the world because of how fucked up it is. Yeah. Makes it like by quite a way the best museum yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. 
Yeah. Um, but it was weird going from that where they have all of human history laid out um, where you could trace it from the start and then literally going from that to the VR was like yeah, a... past a few I, you're just, I was w- w- with fucking mummified tombs and shit and then yeah, before yeah. you know I'm sliding down a mountain in <laughs> VR. It was a very surreal day. It, they were all too... They were also all too relaxed because it, it kind of... I wanted the staff there to be like, this is mental, isn't it? But it was all too normal. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, even the way I ordered to drinks... that all day, every day? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Sounds like fucking hell, unless they just but have it, a lot of high all, turnover. You know, there was, there was some issues and glitches to the machine, but it all was... It wasn't... It wasn't shit as I thought it would be. The what? It wasn't the as gimmicky as I thought it would be. VR, now yeah, or the British Museum. The VR. <laughs> VR <sorry. laughs> and the aesthetic was great. The, the way... Even when I ordered drinks, like I pressed this button on an iPad and they arrived... Yeah. So quickly and just everything. I mean, immediately I saw... Was that within the pod? No, that was when you're waiting outside. For right. the pod. And also what was crazy, I don't understand how the business model works. The sc- you all love this. The scores, that, so you have scores at the end, uh, which they just, they rack up from all the games you've played. Mm. Uh, and then you can use that those scores to pay for drinks. No shit. So w- w- like we're, we're, buy, we're, buy, we're buying half pints. I wouldn't be talking which to two, anyone. £2.80 for a half pint. And then, um, because of the points we've done, they cost eighty p. Really? Yeah. Which doesn't make London. Never and it's does not that. even that expensive. Not to... even anyway. That's it's mental. Like, yeah. And then they were like, "Oh yeah, so you just use that and just have percentage off." Well, great. I'm going. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'll go, and with, the... I'll go with someone. They not have talk good, to the material. They have like a proper a cocktail bar there. Is it? Yeah. I highly, highly recommend. Um, well, for me, that actually ruins it because I wouldn't like be taking in the VR experience. I'd just be racking out the points. <laughs> this is business. It's yeah, business it's now. business. Yeah. No, I, I think it, it, I'd like to do do a competitive sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. The, well, you've yeah. got to have, but that's I'd, I want to like engage the com- the competitiveness of me after I maybe just uh, en- enjoy it maybe yeah. once. Yeah. But as soon as the games come on, that's yeah. when it's getting serious. Um, also, this week I well a couple of weeks ago we were watching. Um, a film which I, I guess we we we, have, we I wish there was a segment. If we had a segment called Film Rex, this would be on there. But I don't think I can be asked to set that up as a segment because it, it requires too. We much. try to do some segments, yeah. and we do them when we remember them yeah. or have something to say on them. But so. a film that's been slept on a lot, and is it a bed? It's a mattress. It's a mattress of a film. Yeah, uh, it was shown to me by Reverend Sykes. Yes. We do, uh, who needs no introduction? Who needs no introduction? Who was us, the reverend at our school, a holy man who taught us religious studies, um, showed uh, us this film back then, and it's called Contact. Not made it was by made the in like t- the year two thousand, and it's got <laughs> um, Matthew McConaughey in it, who's great. And how can I fucking forget her name? Uh, it's got Jodie Foster in it, and it's it's a sci-fi film that falls into the category of. Um, concerned female with a strong moral compass sci-fi you know those Perfect ones Jodie Foster yeah. Jodie Foster so yeah. Arrival falls into that yeah, yeah. Um, the one after Ex Machina what that guy made you know with Natalie Portman no you know the the sequel no oh, my brain's gone I don't shit. think I've seen it um, but you, there, there's a there's a big sub-genre in sci-fi of woman who is super smart but people don't take her seriously mm. um, and yeah Men fuck up and then she sorts out in the end. Yeah, uh, and that's I'm a big fan of those. That's that's my my shit. But this film, it, it I don't know why people don't really talk about it because it was a big Hollywood film and it's got all of the aesthetics of like a just a very classic late nineties, early noughties Hollywood. So there's kind mm. of rich scores. Yeah, yeah, like the way it's shot is yeah. not like it's just very classic Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. but it's about before the world started to go to shit. Well, before like the world, yeah, exactly. It. So it's got a very like it looks like any other sh- shitty Hollywood film, and it's but the, the concept is she's a scientist looking for any contact from aliens, and yeah. they hear this message. She's this, really inept, and there's no one there to do it. Yeah, that's that's what it's, it's just about. shouting at the stars, and they hear this message from aliens, and it's about how Earth responds to first contact with this small a- message from the aliens. Very arrival esque, then. Yeah, um, but then it turns into. A psychedelic DMT trip style film, yeah, which is so unexpected and it's so such a from but, the from the kind of more chilled out Hollywood and then it just vibes yeah. and then but suddenly the question that it raised that was interesting was that the, the aliens were asking for Earth to send someone M- money to come to send. Them. <laughs> 
they're falling behind on their bills. <laughs> Can you, you guys, just help me out? You guys have 50 quid. <laughs> I had this, uh, this bloke for this betting thing I did the other day. <laughs> Any luck? After that whole fucking... To try and decode the message. It's been ages the decoding. Whole but they decoded <laughs> it and they, they basically send exact measurements for uh, a, a spaceship. Trousers. Then. For trousers. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking for money and trousers. <laughs> to send them to meet the aliens. And so Earth as yeah. a collective have to decide who they're going to send to meet the aliens who so, would you send kevin bacon kevin bacon that was my thought because I, I was i was i was thinking bb asked me and immediately i didn't even think about it i said Ke- kevin bacon just immediately came on. yeah yeah. i didn't even that it's somewhere deep in my but then i was thinking around and i was like i feel so you, you remember you're juggling superpowers yeah, there's yeah. Chi- there's, we need a compromise you think kevin bacon <laughs> do you think kevin bacon's a global compromise <laughs> Is he that? Is he universally? It, the, the, there was there neutral? was like a, there was a big there's like a, a committee that decides on it, and they had to talk about scientists, people from religious backgrounds, <clears throat> political yeah, leaders. Yeah. You have to really take everything into account. Once again, I think you missed the mark there. I think it's Kevin Bacon. <laughs> I see where you're coming from. Do you know what I mean? But there's only one answer. It's unfortunate. It's Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah. The reason why it's Danny DeVito is for is twofold. One, because he is the two. The tr- you want a, you want a comedy guy. You want the co- you want a comedy guy because world if you, you want, want a global compromise, yeah. who who dislikes Danny's veto? No one. No, no one, one in no one in China. No one in Russia. Yeah. And why the West is universally loved. And twofold, if the if the aliens are hostile, they'll have who an in, they'll have an inadequate idea of how tall and big humans are, <laughs> and they will come under underarmed and underprepared. <laughs> there you go. Threefold, because he would defuse them with the comedy. But if yeah. that doesn't work, they'll be oh, they're only they're only small people. We don't need to bring all our weapons, and then boom, we're marginally taller than Danny Vito. Yeah, I just want. <laughs> I wonder if if you're sending sending like the the ambassador for the human race, and you send Danny Vito. Yes, he could potentially backfire. How? Well, I just don't know if he <laughs> has the diplomatic skills that Kevin Bacon has. Why do you think Kevin Bacon's got any diplomatic skills? Because he's looking at him. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a silver fox. He's a velveteen owl. And you, Danny DeVito is a silver fox. No, he's not a silver fox. Yes, he is a silver fox. He's a thumb. He's a silver th- <laughs> thumb. He's a silver thumb. He's a thumb. Well, he's, he's grey now. Yeah. I, I think... It, okay, I'd say it's between Kevin Bacon and Dane DeVito. I don't think that's competition. But we can <laughs> I do not I've given three reasons why. I don't think Kevin Bacon is as universally neutral as you think. What, do you think he has stronger... Footloose was a very controversial <laughs> <show. laughs> It would be great if all of the conversation was just about actors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you can't, because you can't... Sean do- Penn. What are we thinking about Sean Penn? Yeah, well, definitely not Sean Penn. <laughs> definitely not Sean Penn. Sean Penn would be a terrible would be one. The wor- I'd hate Sean he'd Penn. He'd be the worst person to send. <laughs> what, Sean Penn? Sean Penn would be the worst person on the globe to send. It feels like he wouldn't give a fuck and he'd also make it so much worse whilst dividing the world about him being sent. Do you think Sean Penn would be the worst person to send? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, I've thought about it. A few names popped up and yeah. none of them was bad as Sean Penn. Um, who do you think would actually... Who do you think would fuck it up the most? Fuck it up the most? Well, just like the person with the lowest IQ <laughs> what? in the world. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's a great answer. <laughs> really? I mean, it's too really broad. Really insightful to... answer. Yeah. Um, but who, who, who else? Who could you actually send? Because, I mean, Brian Cox would come to mind, but then it, 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 the problem no, is... No, because become... he thinks he knows too much. So you need, you know, someone, you need someone to folksy. go there. Folksy. <laughs> Understands family George values. Bush. George Bush. Bush, yeah. Bush, Bush, Bush gets it. <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind sending an old George W. Bush. Do you mean the, the dad? You, or you, the, the, no, the, the, no, no, the, the George dad's du- dead. George, yeah, right, he's, he's old now. Yeah, George W. George W. Um, no, that'd be terrible. Because then he could paint it when he comes back. Yeah, but... Because you also we, need someone. Need you also to- need someone who can come back and explain what happened. Da, ni, da. The <laughs> and it was just <laughs> there were these fucking aliens, and there was like, what? Um, no, I think you want the diplomatic skills of a politician. Yeah, but those aren't exclusive to politicians. Yeah, and we also need to unite. The world needs to unite behind this person, and therefore, 
choosing a specific politician that's going to be... Philip Schofield? Oh, well, what a terrible idea. <laughs> what an awful idea. Imagine it coming back and him just like presenting the findings from the other planet on this morning in between a segment about a woman who's got too many cats. <laughs> it just wouldn't. He's too... He's too... He thinks he's too charming. And they... And the aliens, as much as the rest of the world, would read that as arrogance. Yeah. Um, have I, you seen those fucking cheat like gin adverts he does I haven't seen his gin adverts <laughs> I wouldn't Should, if I would. <laughs> stay away arrogance arrogance to a T and they're kind of playing on his arrogance but he delivers it and he's annoyingly he's, maybe he's, he's quite maybe, funny maybe, maybe you'd send Rogan I'd be interested to get his bald head flying through space because he, he would certainly not a bad idea it's not a terrible idea not a terrible idea he's got folksiness he's, he's threatening but non-threatening yeah he's a big boy he can but take care of himself but he's very non-threatening yeah and he's he's like he's the smartest dumb man yeah so, true yeah yeah but maybe you want oh, the I know, smart, I like, smart man weirdly I'm liking Joe a lot yeah. I like Joe yeah and then he could come back and discuss on this but podcast but then they'll bring too many weapons because they'll think we're all that big yeah. You've got to think about the weapons, right? Sure. Yeah. You have to think about the weapons. But he's, he, do you remember, he's three foot six. Anton Deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anton Deck would be nice because they're just charming. They are. Like, everyone... Yeah, but is charming all we need? With it's the aliens, I just need. feel and Dick have had so many years of experience as broadcasters. What, what, what Earth charm is might not be the same as Global no, Six it charm. It's <laughs> and you have to remember that. I'm not sure it is. Yeah, but do you not think there's and a... And char- the charming to smarminess scale. Yeah, I just feel there's something... I get that, and I, I hear your point. I hear you. But Maybe you should go, Mr. Di- Diplomacy. Yeah, I would. I'd, I'd like to give it a stab, but also, you know, I am who I am. I wear my heart on my Out sleeve. Out me and you, I should go. Clearly. Yeah, for, Clearly. For, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Let's agree on that. Yeah, diplomacy for sure. Yeah. Um <clears throat> But I I think <clears throat> I'd certainly be more of a wild card choice. As in I would be worse it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want things to maybe go a bit awry, <laughs> I'm your man. Yeah. Um I certainly think the Paul film- Rudd. Paul Rudd, that's a great shout. Yeah. Paul Rudd is a great shout. I definitely said Paul Rudd. And Paul, I do think it should be an actor. Because yeah. they, are, they are the best of us. Paul Rudd and the guy who presents Hot Wings. The, um, what's it called? Well, you sent him as well? Yeah. What, so they, because they had a nice interview? Yes. And Actually, Colin Farrell. He's charming. He's great. He's got a bit of edge to him. He's got a sense of humour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Global Six. Glob on Six would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> they would. I think, yeah, I... <laughs> I, I, think, just think- I think we come to the we come to the global table with our f- three options, which is Paul Rudd, Joe Rogan, and Danny DeVito, <laughs> and then we let the world decide because we're not a, we're not a um, what's a fucking word? Think the fact they're all Americans is an issue. Well, wh- which Chinese comedian are you going to go for? <laughs> Sorry, we need a Taiwanese actor. <laughs> now th- there's your problem, yeah. Because one of there them. will be some there one will be them. some problems. What about one of them? One of them. Just one of them. One of them. One of them. Brilliant. Yeah. That's <laughs> you look at China, you're like, yeah, just one of them. Well, maybe we could send. Just send one of them. Just send one of them. Maybe we <laughs> just send one of them. I think. Do you that- know any Chinese celebrities? Nah, just send one of them. <laughs> I feel that might inflame. Come on, I don't care because you're giving them. You're like, I trust you guys so much. Just send one of just them. Just send one of them. <laughs> just send one of them. Let's call that the fucking episode title. Just send one Just of them. Just send one of them. Come on. <laughs> no, I think if we can send more than one, then we should probably spread it between at least East and West. Two and two. So the only person I'm thinking of is Lucy Liu, sadly. Which is maybe the most stereotypical <laughs> fucking she's Asian American, character. She? She's, she's American. Well, who are you Asian thinking? American. Why? I haven't suggested this. Well, if you're, if you're going to get an Eastern... I don't know any chi- like Chinese actors. Yeah. I know who Xi aren't Jinping. like Asian American. It is mad how few Chinese, how little China's. We so can send big. the cast of Parasite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or we can send what's his name, Boo Jong. What's his fucking name? <laughs> That's his name. That's near enough, isn't Boo it? Jo- uh, oh yeah, there bon- you go. Oh wow, Bon Bon Jovi. Bon jo- <laughs> Send them. <laughs> I mean, ideally, it wouldn't be in the film. It's a one-person vessel. Um, but if I was remaking the film, I'd make it like 
like a 22 person vessel like a, yeah, like a yeah. really quite awkward number well we could remake it yeah with 22 people yeah and then the people is it's De- day devito is joe rogan it would be great to get all of them it's playing the entire themselves. cast of parasite it's the entire cast of parasite the director of parasite <laughs> <laughs> who who is unnamed in the script <laughs> Bonju Bon Bonjo Ju Bonjo oh, We're gonna gosh. have to look it up. Yeah, this is not it's not worth struggling over it. Yeah. We've already it we've already alienated up. the deaf community on this. We can't yeah, we like have. alienate. Fucking hell. But Marks, get your book, get, get your book, Marks. Roll on up, roll on up. Come on, hear ye, hear ye. There's book Marks bring to out, be had. Bring out your dead, bring out your dead, and in return, you'll you get, get a, a bookmark. bookmark. For every corpse exchanged, a redeemable coupon Come for on. a free bookmark will be delivered. This is, pl- this is We a- have a problem on our streets with too many rotting corpses around. We need to dispose of them in an appropriate way, and what better way to help the disposal of them than to offer the incentive of a free bookmark. This is during the 1600s, during the Great Plague in London. Um, we've we've travelled back. We travelled back, and we're sending bookmarks. But sadly, literacy rate is about five percent. So the selling of bookmarks is arguably not the best. Not the best um, idea. Not the best exchange for no. people's uh, dead relatives. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. There's a play going. There's a play going on. <laughs> you can, I, uh, yeah. There's a, <laughs> there's a play going <laughs> there's on. A play what on. else are you gonna do? Yeah. So uh, buy your fucking bookmarks. Eat your greens. Um, cheers. Uh, thank you very much for um, listening to another episode of Boys Gone Wild. Uh, if you liked it, great. That's real nice. That's real nice. We're real happy for you. We're really good. We're really happy for you. We'll see you next week. Um, and just, 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 just turn it down a bit, guys. Just you know, I know, no, I know who you are. You've noticed you're the a bit much. A bit too high. No, you're moment. just a bit. No, it's more just as people. They're just a no, bit. That's much. what I'm, I'm. The volume of them as a person. Yeah, yeah. They're not, just. I'm not saying they're being loud. I'm just saying that most of my listeners, I just, I don't, you know, I just feel like you guys are going to social situation and you're being a bit much. They, I can play feel, it cool. I feel you know that I mean? you guys need a break or something. Yeah, like, just to get away from it at the moment because you just keep going to social occasions and you're, you're a bit much. You're acting out. <laughs> <laughs> because of all the problems you have inside and yeah. you need to like work on yeah that and you're and you're over you're over you know projecting a bit exactly, you know you're, yeah. you're and you're not only are you being loud and annoying you're also being very sensitive if anyone throws something back at you exactly. so it's not a good combo and so we just think you need to look within for a moment and yeah. just see what's happening see what you're doing and just work on it thank you we we went to see the batman um on sunday on sunday um that's the important part uh and yeah, I thought it, it sucked ass, man. It sucked big old ass. I thought it sucked, it ass. sucked ass out of this world. I I, don't, I was already <laughs> losing uh, interest in it with the run up to it and from yeah. seeing some people talk about it, but I wasn't ready for how bad it was. It was. I was. I and was actually, going. I'm in actually with... kind of shocked about how. It's yeah. had half decent reviews. This wasn't another Bond where I went in with unbelievably high expectations and was and disappointed. It, well, and incredible amounts of alcohol in your bloodstream. That's a different question. <laughs> Jury, I'm still, I'm still pretty sure it was shit. Um, I can't remember it, but it was bad. Um, and uh, with this one, I went in with no expectations, and that's a great way to go into anything. As I said, low expectations, better life. So it means it gives you. A, it had a lot. This of is chance. my main philosophy that I've. Been. It had, a, but it had a big chance to be yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. As anything, had no does. expectations. As anything does. But instead, if you're really looking forward to something, but then it was lower than be your a bit expectations. Lower. It was, it was disappointing even ha- though you had no expectations. Correct, yes. <laughs> Correct. It was terrible. It was one why when they first when they were first doing it again, it was just like such it felt like such a cash grab with this whole superhero film. The DC wanted to get in on a on more of the vibe with getting their, their big dog out. Yeah. Their big bat we, out. We, we, wheeling the bat out. Wheeling the bat out. Yeah. Was, and he just didn't need to be wheeled out. He, was, <laughs> he didn't. There was the story was fucking boring. It was like watching the dark night. With misted up glasses and and no connection one, between the scenes and <laughs> yeah, but it was more just like it was like watching the Dark Knight far away, like yeah, it was yeah. just a vague. <laughs> it was like a bad experience of watching a yeah. good film that was ten years, fifteen years old. Not gonna lie, the stakes were pretty low. It was a really he weirdly structured film. About fifty people at the end. Because I guess I guess some spoilers, but not really. If you're if you're firing, if you're doing, um, this is the fourth Batman World film in. Because I count the Joker, and you're counting. Yeah. I'm counting the Joker. In the last, if you count the last film of Christopher Nolan, the Joker, yeah. 
That's nine years they've had four different. So The Dark Knight Rises was like 2013. And this is the start of a fucking trilogy. Yeah, it's, it's really lit. So, so we had four it. different worlds. If you're in that crowded space, yeah. you've got to bring completely, you've got to bring a very different vibe. And yeah. all they did was he was younger and Moody. depressed. Yeah. De- more depressed. Yeah. It was so, the the world I found so boring. So it boring. was such a like, Gotham was just, it was just exactly what you'd expect Gotham to look like. The funniest, and I doubt we're gonna, we might be able to get a picture of this. Yeah. But the funniest thing was, and if you watch it, look out for this, how many police officers there are constantly. In, in so many scenes, there's like 50 police officers in every scene. And it seems that Gotham is, has too many police officers. Yeah. Therefore, not in need of the Batman. It was, a very weird I think for the start of a thing I would have liked it if there was actually more I didn't think I wanted it but if there was more of a origin or intro it seemed to come in halfway through his career he's clearly been Batmaning for a while yeah but he's not good at being Batman he has no respect and if I want to be taken away escape a bit of escapism with the majesty of the Batman franchise I want him to be truly feared yeah. And to have power and to be challenged and ha- overcome these challenges. But the police are, were fucking rude to him all the time. Yeah, yeah. He never did a good job. No. He caused more damage than he saved. And then the whole entire film, which I've never seen a superhero film, he didn't solve it. Yeah, yeah. He didn't help anything. Well, he, the, like the ending, he, there was just like, although a couple of bombs went off and they were flooding, like he didn't stop that. Didn't stop it. That the flooding occurred where yeah. many, many more people would have died. He managed to like stop, along with the help of quite a few others, a few gunmen shooting down like a few hundred people. It was in so stadium. weird. Even the opening um, Batman fight scene, which is like thugs are messing with someone and then Batman comes out of the shadows. He starts punching them up. They get a good couple of punches in on him. Yeah, yeah So he's yeah. like struggling a bit and he beats them up and they run away. Well, is that because it's the start of the trilogy and he's going to learn these lessons along the way? But then if I wanted him to learn, I wanted to see him learning it yeah, or yeah. have some of that, but it was meant to be the badass opening. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I wanted it to be a bit more badass. Yeah, yeah. His costume was good. I well, think his performance was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But sort of, I thought Alfred, I didn't get that really at all. No, no, Alfred was... And it's just like, because there's been so many Alfreds now. He was, I mean, he was horrible to Alfred. When Alfred like woke up after being bombed, which was intended for him, he just what as soon as he's sitting by his bedside, he wakes up. He smiles like you lied to me. And he's like, <laughs> "Fucking hell, Bruce! Give him a break, give him a break." But of course, we've seen so many Alfreds. Like, it's been three Alfreds in the last nine years. Um, it just feels like everyone's just having a go at being Alfred. So there's only two. Was there an Alfred in? There was the Ben Affleck Alfred, which What's was the Ben Affleck one. Yeah, the Ben Affleck one, which to be honest was more inventive and interesting than this one. <sighs> God, I don't even. I didn't even see that one. Um. But the reason they didn't do the origin story was because they were like, everyone's seen this like three times in the last 10 years. We don't need to do an origin story. Well, yeah, you do. If you see it I know, but that's, I think that's what they were thinking of. Just like, let's just get straight into it. But it was just, it did feel like you've just been chucked into this world and then nothing really happened and then suddenly you leave it. And it was two hours and 45 it minutes. It felt like the bit in between films that they don't make a film about. Yeah, it was yeah. like between two half decent films. It was like the shit that he just gave. Yeah, yeah. And they could have shaved it down by 45 minutes if they didn't pursue the storyline where um, Gordon and Batman are essentially just following a wrong lead for 45 minutes and they eventually realise that. And although I looked it up after and they do, it, the worst continuity error about the film is that no one questioned the penguins might not have wings. Do you think? Yeah. The fact that no one went, do they have wings? Let's Google that for a second and double check the penguins have wings. Because mine says they don't have wings, they're flippers. Do you look it up? Yeah, they do. And so the the, the sense was technically they do because they're birds but you, like, you can't fly with them so it's not like a full out wing. That still works. Yeah, I know, but they, the fact that the characters it. don't go, does a penguin have a wing? I'm not sure. Like The fact that no one thought maybe a penguin doesn't have a wing and it turns out they think, weren't looking for the penguin. Do you think in a three hour film where they're trying to save time, maybe them discussing whether penguins have wings might be bit of comedic relief it, 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 yeah there was no jokes in it even yeah, in the yeah. Christopher Nolan Batman who's famously it's a couple yeah not a cheery lad yeah, there's some yeah. good like entertaining lines there was literally not one yeah, joke it was just mood, mood there was mood. no fucking yeah no, yeah, no. Colin was... Farrell was good uh, the yeah. club scenes were cool shot in print works I think yes it was but then it was like the the, the mobsters were like Italian 
mobsters like New Yorkie. I was like, it, it, make them a triad gang, like a yeah, yeah. or son, just something different. If I was gonna do Batman, I'd try and make it like. But are they trying to stay true to the comic? But we've already had that sort of. I don't think it's like the proper. I think proper comic book nerds would be upset probably at the Dark Knight films. I think some of the reviews I saw of how like true to the comic it was in some of it. Yeah, including, I mean, the, including the Riddler, who was... And they introduced the Joker at the fucking end. Paul Dana was ridiculous. Yeah. If, I, I, I'm, I'm not lauding that applaud, uh, performance. I, I'm going to kind of say, I think Paul Dana is fooled all of us. I like him because he's got a weird face, but I don't actually think he's a particularly good actor. And I think we're kind of tricked into it because he's got um, an art house <clears throat> face. And I yeah. think there's a couple of actors like that who just don't look like normal actors. If anyone... And they overact and they're like genius. Oh, oh, absolutely overact. No, they overact and they have weird faces and you're like, this person is a genius. He was brilliant in Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah. Um, that was his breakout. And then, yeah, he, was, he wasn't that good in There Will Be Blood. No, I don't think so. But it was such a good film. And also everyone's good he in He was every... second choice, wasn't he? Yeah, and also everyone's good in every Paul Thomas Anderson film. He gets a fucking yeah, yeah. performance out of everyone. A singer. It doesn't even they've never acted before. Yeah, yeah. And Paul Dano still was just so over the top. Yeah, it was so much. It was so much. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So I, I, it just, it was so disappointing as well having like um, kind of a pop culture thing. Finally going to see something where it felt like this is twenty twenty two. What what are we going to see? And it's just the same old shit repeating itself. Well, I think I think part of it was this is trying to. In, part of it was trying to reflect the world around us in some of the bleakness and the the only thing I liked which I thought they should have done more allusion to was towards the end he was Batman was questioning whether he was having like a you know a positive or a negative role in his presence because, well no he wasn't cause he yeah yeah <laughs> but hold on but he was inspired like he with the whole thing with like the Riddler being inspired by him and like kind of taking taking Batman wrong and like all those incels on the internet who then went to go and shoot people up were inspired by Batman as this kind of mass vigilante taking the law into his old own hands, weeding out corruption, giving them some sort of license to do the same thing for their mental views. Because Batman te Batman's me he's mental. He's a mental man. He's wearing he ears. He's man. wearing ears and running around for a cause. Like yeah. why wouldn't that stop really fringe people on these internet forums doing the same thing, but shooting up schools. So I liked that there was a bit of a, like, it's not so clear that the Batman's there for good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it gives him a license to do shit. So why doesn't it give others a license to do shit? Yeah. Cause he's rich and that's an interesting, but they didn't, they explored that in one sentence and I was like, Oh, okay. I can get more of the moodiness and the bat and his character How a bit you, from that. So now you, you've been asked, they they want to make oh, they want to make me direct for the second no they, no no not the second they want to start up a new franchise that comes out next year so this what am is, I doing you you have to come up with a new Batman well film. I wanted to do Batman so this is and gonna Wes be, Anderson style this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be, pew, 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 this is gonna pew, be pew. the fifth fifth Batman in nine years yeah so you've kind of you've now been handed a tough job I have been handed an impossible job make <laughs> it all underwater all underwater <laughs> it's Batman but fish like imagine finding Nemo meets Batman. Can you what get about, a bat fish? You can get what a bat about fish. Batman goes to Jamaica and it's a, a like a holiday film? And he's always wearing shorts. Always wearing shorts. He's got the Batman mask on. Yeah. And he's got a big cocktail. Yeah. With it, and it's sort of like um. Have you seen like forgetting Sarah of Marshall? To, it, instead of trying to save society, he's trying to save the party. Yeah. For, yeah. Have you seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Yeah. You know that sort of vibe, that sort with of Hawaiian. The, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Around your neck. I think it's it's a similar sort of vibe to that, but it's Batman. He's just trying to party. Yeah. And people keep stopping him from partying, or there's problems. Maybe the police are trying to shut it down because it's too noisy. The joke is there, and he he drastically overreacts. The, the <laughs> so he's in his shorts, flip flops, and got his like hula skirts on. Then when someone tries to shut down a party, he runs off, puts on his Batman mask, and horribly beats them. Yeah. Up. And just <laughs> Like to the point of death, a horrible overreaction. <laughs> and the Joker is and just, he himself, the Joker's just making distasteful, annoying jokes. And after someone's beaten someone up with wearing a Batman mask to death, the party's over. Mm. So Batman himself, in the attempt to save the party, kills the party. I'd say to, in that film, I reckon to get to play Batman, I would want Rob Schneider. Probably <laughs> it would probably be. Well, yeah. Or Kevin James. No. No, not Kevin James. Well, I mean, Batman, co a comedy Batman with just like the, no. the naughty's comedy team. Not, not comedy. Not comedy. <laughs> oh, my apologies. <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> this is Kevin James just moving to serious work. <laughs> Don't think that Batman goes to Jamaica. I read the script and I just fell in love with the the story and the characters. It really Don't kind think of spoke that spoke Batman to me. goes to Jamaica is a comedy film. Apologies, it's, it's <laughs> I, I got my wires crossed a bit. Then it's a, it's a serious film, just to, to showing a different side to who Batman. Plays, who, if Kevin James is the Batman, who's the Joker? The Joker. Um, I think the Joker should be um, David Cross. <laughs> I think David Cross would be great. Who's just like yeah. quite an annoying guy at the party. Yeah, yeah. And he's the main antagonist. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that 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 would at least that's reimagining. Yeah, I'd I'd hundred percent watch that. Yeah. For um, the pure fascination of it. Um thanks very much. <laughs>